we're now going to take a look at the prototyping approach to system development. Uh, the prototyping approach basically revolves around the project team developing a working model of a system okay, throughout development. This system is constantly modified in order until it eventually becomes the new information system. Okay. The reason a team may use this approach is it may give them a better understanding of an existing information system and basically how it works and then also giving them the freedom to apply their new ideas to this working model and see how they work out in physically actually doing the operations of the information system. Throughout this type of development approach, potential users and participants are communicated with in order to obtain feedback. Okay, the feedback obtained from these parties is then applied to the prototype, which is then modified once again, okay, in order to perfect the design, as well as to ensure that the participants are satisfied with what, with what will eventually be the new information system. Okay, this feedback modification cycle may occur multiple times throughout prototyping development. So let's try to graphically see how this type of development works. So once again, with this type of approach, we need to obtain uh, the actual knowledge about the system. So we've got to do our understand the problem stage. So here we'd be getting uh, surveys and interviews out to participants in order to get an understanding of issues with the current system, as well as to find out what are the requirements of the existing system. We then will build what's known as the requirements prototype. Okay, so it is a working model of the system found with its foundations being what was in the requirements report. What are the requirements of this system? So basically, uh, they build this working model, okay, which is uh, focused on what was in the requirement report. This will give the team a better understanding of the mechanics of the system, okay, and how it works, and then allow for the actual team to put their ideas onto the new system, okay, where it's actually being modeled, and they can see how things work. Once they're happy with this prototype, they will then probably show okay, the actual participants who will give their feedback about the prototype. And here basically the participants will experiment using the prototype and then give feedback to the team. So then the team will receive this feedback and then modify the prototype accordingly in order to make sure they're satisfying the participants' um, needs. So this cycle here would happen multiple times throughout development in order to perfect the system. Okay. Once it's at a stage where the participants are happy, the team would apply some final polish and all that, but essentially this prototype may emerge and become in the final solution. These ideas are then put into the final solution. Okay, the team then you know makes sure and test out that the system works. Okay, but essentially that's how the actual project is created. So I hope this gives you a good understanding of how the prototyping uh, way of system development works. We essentially build a model of the system. Okay, based on the requirements that were established in a requirements report. Okay, this working model then is then given to the participants. Okay, and they test out and make and see how the system works, and then give feedback back to the developers. The developers then modify the system based on uh, the feedback, and then will once again get the participants to test out the system again. Okay, and conduct that cycle over and over until the participants seem happy. Okay, and then they'll do uh, go on and use these ideas in the final solution and then publish the new information system. Okay, so I hope that gives you an idea of the benefits of the prototyping approach to system development.